All right, hey there, welcome back. Okay, another foundation lesson. Let's start with the letters you know. Here we go. J, J jug, J, J, D, D dog, D, D, N, nut, N, E, Ed, E, S, S snake, snake, S, I, itch, I, I, C, cat, K, F, fun, F, U, up, uh, K, kite, K. All right, nice work there. Okay, now we're gonna do our little sound cards. I'm gonna point to a letter. You tell me the sound. All right, we're gonna do this row all the way across and then this row. Here we go. Eh. Eh. Uh, uh, g, g, eh. All right, let's go down to the last row. P, G, H, O, K. All right, nice work there. Okay, today we're going to work with sentences. So up here I have my sentence strip and I have words on each little card. I'm gonna read the sentence for you, and my sentence is going to be asking you a question. All right, we haven't talked about questions yet, but a question is something that needs an answer. All right, so I'm gonna ask you something, and then somebody would answer since it's a question. All right, let me read it. Does Avery have a bike? Let me read it again. Does Avery have a bike? All right, did you hear how my voice changed at the end? When we read a question, a lot of times our voice will change at the very end. It goes up a little bit. Does Avery have a bike? So when we say a sentence that is a question, we have to use a question mark at the end to show it's a question. When we are just telling somebody something, we use a period. So you've seen the period at the end, but now we need a question mark, okay? To make a question mark, it's kind of like a backward C, like that, and then a line straight down. And then there's a dot at the very bottom, just like this. That's a question mark. When you see a question mark at the end of a sentence, you'll know right away that what it is doing is asking you something. So this is asking us if Avery has a bike. So you would say yes or no. All right, it's called a question. Let's look at my sentence and let's count how many words are in it. One, two, three, four, five. My question or my sentence begins with a capital letter. All sentences begin with a capital letter. That's why we have our tall card right here at the beginning, okay? We have a tall card right here because it's somebody's name. We start everybody's name with a capital letter too, all right? And then of course, we always have to end with an end mark. All right, I'm gonna give you some examples. I'm gonna say something and you're gonna tell me if it's a telling sentence or if it's a question, okay? Listen to my voice. If it changes and goes up at the end, it's a question. <clears throat> what is your favorite color? Is that a question or a telling sentence? That's a question. Very good. So if somebody said, what is your favorite color? You would answer them and you would tell them your favorite color. Mrs. Williams, what's your favorite color? Green. Ah, that's my favorite color too, Mrs. Williams. All right, boys and girls, what's your favorite color? Tell somebody who's sitting next to you. All right, you answered because it's a question. All right, how about this? I like to swim. I like to swim. Is that a question or a telling sentence? 
That's a telling sentence. Yes, I'm just telling you something. I'm telling you I like to swim. You don't really have to answer. But what if I say, do you like to swim? Now what am I doing? Asking a question. Yes, now I'm asking a question. Do you like to swim? Yes. Ah, I bet you do. I bet you guys are good little swimmers. All right, so anytime we ask a question, our voice kind of changes at the end and we use a question mark. All right, thanks for joining me for today's lesson.